we want to play a quick game of the Mets pod Mount Rushmore. And this is perfect for you because as a as someone that grew up a fan of the Mets, do you have four games that you attended as a fan for your Mount Rushmore? And road games apply if you've been to them uh, on the road as well. And if you don't have a full four, you could mix in just actual Mets fan memories. I think I have four. Okay. Um, so number one, um, first game back after 9-11. Um, I was, I was at that one, um, tough to beat that in any, any sort of sporting event. Um, that was, that was pretty remarkable. Um, uh, number two, Todd Pratt walk-off. Um, that was a, a very memorable one for me. I was at that with my grandfather who was a lifelong National League baseball fan. Um, so very memorable. Um, number three for me, uh, Probably the, the Grand Slam single game um, was at that one as well. Uh, I got really sick uh, from that one. Had, get it, watching four and a half hours of baseball in, in, a, in a driving cold rainstorm uh, for, for that day. Um, and then number four, I'd probably go with that famous fireworks day at Shea where um, the Mets scored 10 in the eighth off of the Braves um capped by a, a mike piazza homer um uh, i was at that one i was at that one too so those would be the four uh the four i'd pick uh, those are so, some pretty great shea memories joe so great memories and i i've admitted this on this show before i was also at the piazza braves game but my mom made us leave early so i heard the end oh. of the radio <laughs> oh, no. the worst that's an all the worst. i love my mom and we were at the Mother's Day game on uh, on Mother's Day, so love her, diehard Mets fan. But yeah, she she made me leave that game, and I haven't I haven't exactly forgiven her for it. Yeah, you know, it's it. Uh, you think back to to that game, um, and then the September 11th, the the the, the game immediately after September 11th, uh, first game after September 11th, and both are remembered for big Mike Piazza home runs. Um, what's often forgotten in both of those games, those home runs were immediately preceded by incredible Edgardo Alfonso at bats. So in the 10 run comeback inning, um, Alfonso, I think on a two strike pitch, uh, got a single through the shortstop hole that got the inning to Piazza and allowed him to hit the big homer. Um, and then uh, in the, the game immediately following September 11th, Alfonso worked out the key walk against Steve Carse um on on what may or may not have been strike three or ball four we're not sure um but he gets to first base gets the inning to piazza and then and then obviously history um history happens 